video because I had some trouble finding. Uh, I got an 09 Volkswagen Rattan. Uh, had some trouble with the sliding door. Uh, on the other side, on the passenger side, none of the buttons inside worked to close the door. And it would work fine to open it, but it wouldn't work to close it. So I looked and actually this black wire on the other side was completely separated. So I soldered it and used some hinge, uh, heat shrink, some heat shrink shrink, uh, shrink wrap, soldered it in and uh, worked fine. Worked like a charm. As soon as I hit the button, the door closed. So we decided to check this other door on the driver's side because it was having same similar issues um, and it was held on by one strand. So it was having similar issues where it would start and then it would close automatically. It would open and it would stop and close. And this was held on by one strand. So I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to solder it up uh, and I'll show you guys how to solder it and then heat shrink it and I'm good to go. So I'm going to take my, my strippers here, 18 gauge wire, and I'm going to strip a good, good portion. Just give it a little twist and pull, it'll come right off. Do the same thing on the other side. Okay, give it a little twist and tug and come right off. Give me a piece. Take a little piece of my shrink wrap, heat shrink. Right. Forget, you keep forgetting the name. Yeah. There's different people call it different stuff. Make sure you keep this far away while you're soldering. See? Keep it far back. So you don't get it caught up. Then I'm fan it out a little bit. Fan this side. See? Then I, I feed them together. Fan it out. Yeah. And I twist. Yeah, you twist it. You just have to twist it. Yeah, make sure you do it really, really thin. Yeah, and really tight. Yeah, really so tight. So it actually works. Really tight, really thin, so that the, it'll heat up enough for the solder to melt through. Okay. All right, so we're going to separate it to keep the heat away from the other wires. Um, you kind of want to flat so that the heat will travel up. Can you... Hey daddy. Yeah. Uh so you really you Yeah. Do you realize if you turn off the camera and turn on the camera this like gets it in parts and parts? Mm -hmm. Recording it though? Yeah. No. So what you want is the solder to suck through the wire. No, actually suck down in there and make a solid one piece wire. And I want to make sure this is really good because it's there's actually free moves inside this harness, so I want to make sure it's really tight. And let that cool for a second before I put this shrink wrap on. Heat shrink. Oh, you turn the video off. Guys, so we're going to close this. Let's, let's hope it works. So I got it all soldered up, so now we're going to give it a try. Make sure everything works. So go ahead, baby. Because sometimes it might not work. Yeah. So let's do it. Oh, yeah. It Good. works. That's it, guys. Now I noticed it, um... The inside buttons on the passenger side, they, n none of the buttons worked to close the door. They would work fine to open it. Uh, you hit any of the buttons and it would open, sliding, automatic sliding, no problem. But none of the buttons worked to close the door, not the outside handle, the inside handles, nothing worked. So definitely if that's you, if you're having those kind of issues, um, take that wiring harness apart. 
You can find other videos on YouTube showing you how to take off the clips. It's really simple. It took me about five minutes, um, not even two, between two to five minutes on each door. But um, definitely get inside that harness and check all those wiring. And it's a real simple fix.